Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I am inviting you to enter my card challenge. This is where you would use my free PDF template that I provide on my website to create 16 cards from just six sheets of pattern paper. Now these are six by six sheets of pattern paper. So if you have 12 by 12, those would work as well. And it would only take one and a half sheets for that. I'm doing a project share where I created 16 baby cards using the templates. So let me first show you what I did. I have created all of these cards using the Doodlebug Designs bundle of joy paper pad along with their stickers and embellishments. And then I also purchased these die cut stickers from Hobby Lobby. These are from Stickabilities. I only use these on a few of the cards, but I wanted to show you what I used to create these cards. So the first thing that I did was I laid out all of the different sheets of pattern papers in this paper pad and I just kind of matched them up. Most of them had images on one side and then a solid color on the back with like a subtle print, maybe stars or hearts or something to that effect. But I tried to pick out ones that were non-directional because the PDF template that I provide really works best when you don't have to worry about whether something is facing upright. So these have umbrellas, they have baby faces, hearts, and all of those you really have to make sure that you're putting them on a card sketch where they're going to be facing the right way. So I ended up picking out these six and I'm not going to show you the entire process of where I cut out all of the different sheets, but I will show you my end result. This is the free PDF template that's on my website. The first three pages are the cutting templates for each of the six sheets of pattern paper. They are color coded and they are numbered, so it's pretty easy to figure out. There are instructions on the very last page and they're also on my website. So let me go ahead and show you the end results for all of the cards. This is the first one and you'll notice how I had to turn this one landscape because of the direction of that yellow paper. Those were the little hearts and I wanted them to be the right, going the right way. And then the same thing with card sketch number two. I didn't have to turn this one, but I did want the hearts to be facing the right direction. And as you can see, I'm using the cutter parts as the focal point. Now for this one, I use the stickers as well as the well-written word dies for the word welcome. And I also use the well said stamp set from Stampin' Up. And then this is card sketch number four. And as you can see, I'm using some of those little enamel embellishments the bundle of joy and then I think this is probably my favorite card sketch number five now I did use another sheet of the cutter parts because I wanted to have the word baby across the top and then for card sketch number six I did end up turning this one too because I wanted the hearts and the rainbows to be facing the right way now if you do decide to enter the challenge there are some prizes that you can win which I'll talk about here at the end of the video this is the next set of six cards. This is card sketch number seven, and I just love all the different colors on this one. Here I use the stickers and those same Welcome Baby word dies. And then card sketch number eight, I use one of the cut aparts for this one. And then card sketch number nine, I ended up having to turn this one because of the rainbows and the hearts. But I incorporated some of the stickers on that one as well. And then card sketch number 10. I actually took one of the cut aparts and just cut out the little sentiment on that one. And then for card sketch number 11. I used some of the stickers on this one, but I wanted to mention about the Welcome Baby die cuts that I have on here. These are left over from my last baby card project. I actually used some alcohol ink on some glitter paper and they turned out really cool. Some of them are ombre looking. So I'll link that above as well as in the description box below in case you wanna check that out. Now the last card sketch on this page does make two cards, so that's why you saw, saw the two different ones. And then these are the last three card sketches. So here's card sketch number 13. And then card sketch number 14. And this is where I used one of the cut aparts as the focal point. And I just love those cute little ducks on there and the bubbles. And then the last one I did have to change up quite a bit because of the images on the pattern paper. And I did really want to use the train stickers here. 
And so these are all 16 cards that I made using the free PDF template, and I will link that in the description box below. I really hope you like these cards. I think they turned out super cute. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can win some prizes if you decide to enter the card challenge. All you have to do is post your creations on social media and use the hashtag Kendra's Card Challenge 1. And you can be entered into win either a mystery box full of stamps, embellishments, stencils, and a lot more valued at over $50. You can also win a $25 gift certificate to scrapbook.com or another mystery stamp and die bundle valued at over $20. So for more information on the card challenge, please visit my website at cardsbykendra.com and click on Kendra's card challenges. Don't forget, you can also find additional card making inspiration on my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest pages at Cards by Kendra. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.